So guys, welcome to a new devlog about TT Toolbox. And currently I'm trying to set up a new series for you so that it's more user focused when it comes to retargeting. So no coding at all required. You just need to install the plugins and use them. And yeah, for that I thought, why not give Unreal Engine 5.1 a try and get it working, but it's Oh, it's such a pain, really. I'm now fixing bugs since the morning or since yesterday already. And here are some videos which I recorded for you. But sadly, I need to record them again because I stepped into so many issues. Let me show you what I mean in detail. So I have set up here a blueprint for us. And here we do not have yet the animation blueprint. We need to retarget it. And for that, I'm using the animations from ALS blueprint version and they are stored here and here and we use the retarget animation assets and duplicate the stuff. And for that, we want to use the retargeter. So let me get the retargeter. So here's the retargeter. Let me move this for this window to the side and explain to you how it works. So I'm basically just using the ones which are delivered by Epic from the third person template and they work almost quite fine, except one. So if we disable this one, except the IK bones, they don't move like they should be. If we enable this one, they are constrained. That's exactly how most animation tools are built for Unreal Engine. And we can do this now with TT Toolbox as well, even in Unreal Engine 5.1. So here you see I'm using 5.1. Yep, 5.1. And yeah, and set up everything. So also what is, oh, what is a really huge pain <laughs> with this chain? I don't know why. It's such complicated, but if we go into the meshes and the skeleton, there we also have a lot of curves, which are specific for, for ALS, like, mm, like weight gate or so. This, this one is very important. If you miss this one, you're out of luck and you might get a headache on how to fix it. What what we can do with the, with the new version of TT Toolbox is do a right click, say scripted asset actions, character tools, and we can say add missing curve names or from a data table. And we can also check them. That was available in the version before. So here we see there are no, let me do this again. There are no missing curves anymore. So here are no, no, no ones are listed. So that worked perfectly fine. That's something I developed. And now let's, let's try to retarget. You have seen how it works. <laughs> um, we open this window here and say ALS underscore UE5 many underscore. Use an, a folder, which we like. I'm using characters, mannequins, animations, ELS, click on OK. And then also click on this button here. You might have, you might have some animations which are, which, are, which are getting not retargeted and you might step into some issues. So always check this one here because it will remap the reference assets as well. So, and let us retarget this stuff and see if it works. So yeah, I'm having a new machine and it's quite fast. So everything is done already. Let me get the blueprint, which I set up for showcasing how it works. So here we can compile. We click on OK. Uh, we click on Control A, Control S, save everything. And now we want to play with our new character. And as you see, everything is messed up. So 
what happened th this one is from ELS ignore this one what happened is if we try to find the ELS and underscore no not ELS underscore it's UE5 many underscore n underscore look the sweep animation for example if we take a look at the arms or hands they basically overlap with the body which is not a good sign so I thought mm, retargeting messed up my stuff but look at this <laughs> if I change the local if I change something here in this section for example also allow frame stripping everything gets back to normal <laughs> weird right so something is not correctly updated here that's one issue and also let me show you something more let's use a overlay state let's use the two a two two h pistol poses and yeah here we see this the issue already still in unreal engine 5.1 we have this issue with the curve names i don't know why nobody fixes it but it's it was a huge pain and it messed up all my animation during retargeting and let me see if we can find the animation here again as well so it's props props to h curves piston curve yeah and we also will stop <laughs> playing animations I'm, I'm getting confused so is if we check them we can see they, they have a very different order and a very different naming and for example the the geo there is nothing here with geo so it's it's completely messed up <laughs> and yeah it it does not work at the end and we see a very weird moving character right and what i did is oh, i got a really i got a huge headache to fix this code but what we can do is the following if we close the editor and we also wait we also delete all animations you have seen that it does not work i will delete them here immediately and yeah we wait some time so yeah it takes some time So we force delete everything because it's just connected to the blueprint for testing and in a few seconds all of this of these assets should be gone which is the case we can now save everything and close everything and what i will do is getting the plugins folder of the project and moving a fixed version of the ik rig here and restart the editor again hopefully if i have set up all everything or prepared everything correctly we should see a decent retarget result a very decent one so we cancel everything we go to character assets again mannequin skeleton and do retarget duplicate animation blueprint we select the retargeter again use we use the same prefix and the same replacement u5 many underscore then we set a correct folder again and then fingers crossed everything is fixed so here we have a working one let's let's check if the ue5 many underscore n underscore look if the sweep animations are not messed up anymore so this one looks perfectly fine the bones let me show them to you they are also constrained so it's a very good retarget result already and i did not yet tweak the base pose so it looks really good in my view for just some clicks right also let us check in overlay state we use the same 2h underscore poses so here we have 
and this one here stop animations we go back we search for the same stuff pauses so stop these animations as well so as we see the ik bones are correctly constrained they move we have the same curve names and also the same order <laughs> the same order that's very that's very easy to compare yeah so these are the correct curves and if we set if we set this animation blueprint as well so we go here browse to asset we set this animation blueprint this one here that's how that's how it should work in my view so and if we play the game again look at the menu so that's how it should work right so you might wondering how I got this working <laughs> and yeah I will not go into the implementation into the details and how I fix the issues for that I will record another video and also provide you a archaic version that works for Unreal Engine 5.0 and 5.1 I think in the next two days and as we see everything is working now even for IK. so if we run here to the back so it looks really good for for just a little bit of work so if we go here for just two clicks so IK retargeting works even if some people are saying it does not work but it works if the issues are fixed so it's the foot is perfectly aligned to the stairs it looks really good in my view so everything is working and also let me see if we can see the traces as well so the traces are here as well so if we go very deep into the foot here is the trace so it it, it hits perfectly the the ground I would say I fixed most of the issues for ELS not sure if you will step into something similar with Lyra but the implementation of the IK retargeting functionality has three bugs or so it's just a few lines of code and I will show you in a new video how you can do this on your own as well and fix it and even replace the broken version in Unreal Engine 5.1 or 5.0 because I'm using both versions and I need the fix in both versions and then yeah we can still use the many again and get everything working so I did not yet work on the on the regular system but for that I already have also a fix which can be done quite easily for ELS also what we need to work on a little bit is the the poses basically the overlay states because the IK handgun bone is constrained always to the right hand and this breaks of course the held object locations but for that also I have some solutions already even for 2H for two H poses like this one here or like the torch pose it's also looks very fun <laughs> so it's flying in the air jump magic the binocular pose is broken so for all of them I, I have now solutions and can get it working and also I think what I need to work a little bit more is the as you see the legs are a bit jittering so the proper location for food IK is not correctly set up but yeah that's a minor fix the biggest fix fixes were need to be done in the IK rig and yeah let, let me show you how many lines it was <laughs> it was very complicated to understand the code but in the end it turned out to be a very valuable fix it's two files basically so just these lines here is approximately 100 lines of code and also what did not work is oh, let me show you something more so if we for example retarget uh, let me see if we can find one if we retarget the additive animation let's use the sweep animation sweep animation from ELS it's the look 
underscore sweep no als underscore n look this one here the forward if we retarget this animation with the retargeter as well we will step into an issue as well which is very annoying and it's this one Rix. so here we s oh i need to search for the animation again sorry guys look so here's the sweep animation right and normally we can play them back sorry it's also annoying i need to remove this i i don't know why it's always reset those filters if i play back an animation it's very annoying it should stay there so if we export this one we normally don't have this button and it's set to false and let me show you what happens if we set this to false so we export this animation everything seems to be fine right but if we open the animation again and scroll down to the additive sec section we will see we will see that no additive animation is normally set and normally it's like this it's in i think it's mesh space or so and there is no animation set i already fixed this as well so if there is no if we don't want to remap animations it should not be an additive animation otherwise it will break our animation blueprint later and and if we take a closer look at this animation you see that we have a base post set so it's this one right and yeah this animation here gets not retargeted so normally we don't have this button but if we do this again with this button so let me do it again and also enable this button you will see that if we close the ones here so i'm getting very confused with so many windows so we get two animations basically and if we open this one and go also to the anim to the additive section come on <laughs> additive section we see that this animation here is correctly set up we have mess space as well so everything works as expected as as you expected it as a user i want to remap linked animations as well if i wanted to and if i don't want to i have want to have an option which says oh no i don't want to select those animations and if they are additive as well please that's so it's so much better usability please set it to no additive and then we can work on stuff so yeah that was very exhausting <laughs> to get everything working and i hope you will have a better retargeting journey than i did during the last two days in the future and hopefully epic will merge those changes back to unreal engine so that everyone can be can benefit from it thank you for watching and leave me a thumbs up if you like the video and also if you want to see the details on how i fixed it or want to see how i implemented those stuff and analyzed it see you in the next video and happy retargeting to all of you